what is going on beautiful people welcome to another episode of a narcissist explains live 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 i'm live and in person right here you see me slapping my face <laughs> if you're new here my name is lee hammock i'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist and today's episode is going to be about whether or not looks are always important to a narcissist how important is physical attraction when you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person what is going on real is rare one of my channel members shout out to you shout out to you <clears throat> but yes how important are looks to a narcissist so to a lot of narcissists looks are going to be very very important what's going on stephanie um looks are going to be very important to narcissistic people they just are you know how you look physical attraction is going to be at the top of a lot of narcissist list it, it just is it's like the the hierarchy of narcissistic supply is going to be physical the top of it is going to be physical attraction a lot of times y'all let's just keep it real being physically you know physically attract physical attraction is going to be big for a lot of narcissistic people this is one of those things right there but is it important to every single narcissist no no it's not going to be important to every single narcissist it's just not not no no two narcissists are the same so it's going to be on varying levels you know because one of the things one of the most common things that i see a lot of times in my comment section is when the narcissist goes and gets a new supply people keep saying that they downgraded they downgraded for me the new supply is a whale the new supply is old bum ball headed scallywag ain't got no hair in the back you know the new supply is this the new supply is that the new supply has nothing to offer the new supply blah 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 boo 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 bb i get that so looks are not always going to be important to a narcissist like looks are going to be important to a lot of narcissists because that's how they get some type of supply from it because you get into this space right here i bag the baddie you see what i'm saying that's the this common that's the common vernacular that a lot of young folks use today i bag the baddie a handsome bag i bag somebody that looks good a good looking man a handsome i bagged a handsome boy you know but not to every single narcissistic person like because some narcissists there are different forms of supply some narcissists in their in their hierarchy of supply they're going to get supply from they, they can get financial supply you know they can get they, they can be getting financial supply from a person they can be getting um emotional supply from a person they can be getting physical supply from a person it could just be uh some sexual attraction we could just be clapping cheeks very very vigorously it could just it could just be some vigorous cheek clapping sessions going on and that could be why we're connected you know that could be one of the reasons why we're connected right there but it's physical appearance is physical appearance is going to be important sometimes but a lot of sometimes it's not it just really isn't it really depends on that narcissistic person it really depends on them because if they do get a good looking person they can be jealous of a good looking person you know they get like they can go get a, a good looking person and start to isolate that good looking person for um from their family and friends from going out in public they could keep you in the house now. You 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 a bad you a baddie? Well, you gonna be bad. You gonna be nice and bad with your ass in the house. You ain't going outside. What the hell you doing going outside? Dress like that. Dress like what? It's like anything with anything. Get get your get your get your get your get in the house. You know. Sometimes they 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 get jealous of how you look. So the same thing that attracts them could repel them. You know, the same thing that draws them to you could push them away. They could be jealous of you. They'd be like, damn, you, hey girl, that you just you just a beautiful, beautiful person. You, yeah, okay. Shh. I'm on live. Okay. You could be you could be a beautiful, beautiful person, right? But then they just look at you like you too beautiful. You you too beautiful. You look too, you look too good. You know, and then they become jealous of jealous of you and start using that jealousy against you. That jealousy, they they turn it against you. You know, they absolutely turn it against you. But that does happen quite a bit, y'all. Your physical, their, their their level of physical attraction can turn them off later on. You too bad. You're too handsome. You know what I mean? 
it yeah, it can very it can happen. It very well can. You know, shout out to uh, Carrie Ann. What's going on? My my some of my, my my mental healers are here. What's going on? Lisa, Carrie Ann. I have a my support group called the called, called the Mental Healers. Y'all. I have a, a group called the Mental Healers. It's a small it's a growing support group. So check it out. I'm gonna drop the link in the comment section. Um somebody said they can't stand for anyone to focus more on you than them. Yes, you get a lot of narcissists that they they will sometimes they will brag on you at first. They will brag on you at first, right? They will be super braggadocious towards you. Like, look, look, y'all, look at my boo right here. Look at my boo, you know. Look at my boo boo right here. This uh, you know, she, you know, she's uh she's a she, she a little little Nintendo Switch, you know, a little little switch with the orange top. You know, just like you she she complete me. But later on, just like look at my boo, y'all, and chuck it, chuck you. You know, they chuck you. It does happen right there as well. Like they will get mad at you for being attractive and taking attention away from them. Like they can draw, you can draw attention to them, but then they don't, they don't like it. They don't like you getting more attention than them. So your, your level of physical attractiveness can absolutely become a, be weaponized against you. You know, but I'm going to tell you what, one thing I became a girl, a goerphobic. He would bring me, yeah, she get she, she got, she didn't want to go outside. She became a goerphobic. So this is what happens too right here though, y'all. So you get to the point where, they, like I said, they become jealous of your, your physical attraction. Well, they hold it against you. They will weaponize it against you and keep your ass in the house. They'll lock you in the house because you make them feel a certain type of way about themselves. Like they hate it. They hate it. They really do hate the fact that sometimes you, you look better than them. They'll be comparing and contrasting, using it against you, keeping you in the house, don't let you go outside. You know, and you become a shell of yourself. You can absolutely become a shell of yourself because you're with this narcissistic person. You know, she said she was a she was a baddie and he didn't even take you out. Yeah, you get 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 get, get, your, get, get back in the house. You know, they don't want to show you off if showing you off means that they are getting less attention. You know what you know, you know one of the worst compliments a narcissist can get when they're with you. Especially when the transition period has happened, when they start looking at you differently, when they start viewing you through a different light, one of the worst compliments or one of the worst comments that somebody can say to a narcissist is, "How did you pull this one? You you out you out kicked your coverage. What are you doing with this bum? Oh my goodness, y'all would think that they would make them feel good about themselves, but that's yeah that that increases the jealousy." Your friend or family member, they just say, "What are you doing with this bum? What are you doing with them? What are you doing with him? What are you doing with her? How you how'd you pu- how'd you pull this one, man? They you, they just threw kerosene on a already. They, they just threw kerosene on a forest fire. They just threw kerosene on a damn forest fire and just lit it up. You're like, whoa, you know? Threw, they threw some mint. They threw some Mentos in a bottle of Coca Cola and shook shook it up. Boom, the top gonna pop." They might they might they might get a little weird smile in public, but when they get home, they lose their damn minds. It's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> they're, they're so they're so pretty, right? <laughs> they're so pretty. <laughs> when they get home, that little fake smile disappears. They're like <laughs> turns to a frown. They t- look, they turn that smile upside down, it turns into a frown, and they get you. You know what I mean? That, that'll happen right there. The irony that some narcissists don't value your looks. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Because a lot of narcissists get hyper focused on how they themselves look, you know, they get hyper focused on how they look. So, because a lot of narcissistic people tend to be insecure, I'm super, yeah, I'm I'm super, extremely insecure about how I look, you know, extremely insecure about how I look, how how I present myself for a long time. I used to have, like I said, I used to have a big gap in my teeth, chipped tooth, you know, I, mean? I was like almost three hundred pounds. I've been like a girl, a girl called me ugly. In like the third grade, y'all, and I held I held on to that for thirty years. I'm thirty eight right now. I literally just let that go. I literally just let that grudge go. You know what I mean? About a girl calling me ugly in third grade. So I'm like, you gonna call me ugly no more? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna be. When you see me when I get older, you gonna regret calling me ugly when we was eight years old. Watch, watch what I tell you. How stupid is that? That's silly. That's silly, isn't it? You know. I realized that when I got older and I actually, yeah, so I, I didn't see that girl for 30 years and I actually just ran into her um, a couple of months ago, which is funny. I ran into her a couple of months ago and I just like let that grudge go. It's stupid. You know, it's silly as hell to hold on to something like that. 
but it's just that kind of craziness right there. Uh, somebody said, you're my narcissistic crush. Oh. <laughs> but that happened right there. I'm just telling you, it does happen quite a bit. You know, just be it, it just it just happens. So look, looks don't always matter to a narcissist, but they do sometimes. It really just depends on the situation. Your good looks can get you treated worse by that narcissistic person. Your good looks could absolutely make them feel super insecure and jealous of you and make them treat you differently. It's crazy as hell, right? You know, it's crazy as hell. They see you as ugly at the end, though. They don't, I don't think they don't, I don't think they see you as ugly. They want to make you feel ugly. You know, they want to make you feel ugly. They don't see you as ugly because they would like I said, even if they're breaking up with you, they don't see you as ugly. They want to make you feel ugly. Because you because they, if you if they get you to feel ugly, then you so if you buy into if you buy into it, then you lose, you know. If you buy into the dynamic or the thought that you might be ugly, you lose right there. So keep winning, y'all. That's why I just said keep winning. So that'll end the, the talking session. If y'all got some questions, just drop me some questions right now, y'all. I do have a, like I said, I do have a small support group. You know, I have my mini courses available as well. My support group is called the Mental Healers. And my mini course about understanding the seven stages of a toxic narcissistic relationship is available as well. Yeah, if y'all interested in the mini course, uh, the link is in the description. Enter code Lee21 for 21% off for the next till April 22nd. I think I forgot. I'll redo it. I'll redo it because it ain't even about the cost of it. Um, my dog trying to get in here. That support group is awesome. And see, another one of my healers is in here. Megan, what's going on, girl? Hope you're doing well. I'm 46. He was 39. I look young and he screwed my confidence. They'll get you. I'm telling you. They'll try to snatch. Look, they'll snatch that confidence right off you. You, you know, you, I, some of y'all might wear wigs. They'll snatch that damn confidence off you like a wig. You know what I mean? Like, this is your hair right here. This is your confidence. The co your confidence wig. Your, this is your confidence wig right here. They're like, give me it. Give me it. Give me your goddamn confidence. Give it to me. Give me your confidence. Snatch it right up of all for you, you know, because that gives them power. When you feel when you feel worse, it gives them power. You know what I mean? When you feel worse, it empowers them. It gives it makes them feel like they're in more control and whatnot. Mm -mm -mm. Not the, not the wig. <laughs> I just hope I got my hair. <laughs> yeah, they snatch that they, they confidence wig right there, man. Yeah, man. I see you in the gym. Let's see. I, I see you in the gym working out. Yeah, so Meg, I think Megan. So you might be one of the only people in here. So me, I've actually met Megan in real life. So me and Megan, well, she's probably one of the only people in here that I've actually met in real life. Mm -mm -mm. He took my wig off. He took took me told me to take my wig off. Oh yeah, see, I'm telling you. My husband sold my car. I can't get out. It takes time. So now, now you have to read. Like, be. I tell people in toxic relationships, be prepared to pivot. You know. You have to be prepared to pivot. You always have to be prepared to change your plans and make a new plan. It takes time, y'all. Everybody's escape plan or everybody's journey is going to have different time periods. And comparison can be the thief of joy, but comparison can also inspire you. Just don't compare yourself to the wrong person to get down on yourself. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to Ellie for the channel donation. It says, I survived two narcissistic relationships and a parent. Now graduated nursing school and becoming a sister None. Caught on God. Thanks, Lee. That's power moves right there. Power up right there, y'all. She found God, got out of the toxic relationship and found God. Power up. I love that. I love it. Much, you know, you say much, much, just much appreciation for you. Like, seriously, I love in inspiring people. Somebody just said Durham. I'm going to try to make it to the, the meet and greet in Durham. So, matter of fact, my next meet and greet, my next workshop, is, I'm going to do a meet and greet with it, but I'm, but, but, but can you talk straight? My next workshop is actually going to be in Durham, North Carolina at the end of May, near the end of May. So my next workshop, my next in-person workshop is going to probably be in Durham, North Carolina at the end, about five or six weeks. I'll, y'all, I'll make an announcement here pretty soon about my next in-person workshop. And this is, if y'all watching this later on, it's 2024. Some people see this later on. So <laughs> May of 2024, if y'all seen this in 2022 or 2020, if y'all seen this in 2025 or something, you too late, you missed it. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, so yeah, I do have to hop off of here. I have the uh, my son has a baseball game in the morning, and y'all see them running here earlier. Er, earlier, I told him I'm going to play some sports with them, I'm going to play some some sports ball with them. I got a little basketball goal on the uh, the door and whatnot. Um, shout out to Antoinette for joining the channel memberships. Uh, who said something? 
I'm trying to go to find your episode how to deal with texts from unknown numbers. Still raw for me as I left her on Valentine's after her son told on. Uh, yeah. I So one of my most popular videos is actually the, the texting video. Just go, go uh, get on YouTube and hit texting habits of narcissists. So Dallas, Fort Worth. So I'm actually Houston, Texas, Houston or De Tex something in Texas is coming soon too. My little brother lives in Houston, Texas. So I'll be in Houston uh, pretty soon as well. Houston, Atlanta, you know, New York, somewhere down South Georgia, DC, uh, LA, maybe Washington state. So somewhere in Canada, I'm, I'm going to be bouncing around here pretty soon. Y'all. So y'all will see um, here pretty soon. Some new stuff coming here pretty soon. So I appreciate every single one of y'all. Um, y'all be safe. Take care of yourselves. And as always, like I said join the mental healers. I'm always, I'm always in mental healers. Y'all in my, my support group. I do a lot of morning zoom calls. Well, I'm just on zoom talking to people every morning. I've done it the last few days. Um, tomorrow I might not do it, but tomorrow, Sunday night, we having another support group meeting for like an hour and some change where people just gather, talk, chat, get their questions answered and all the other good stuff. Y'all. So be safe. Like I'm dropping the link for the mental healers in here. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. And I will see y'all same time tomorrow night, 9 30 ESP. I will say 9 30 ESPN EST Eastern standard time. Y'all anyways, y'all be safe. Take care of yourself. 